Hey everybody, it's Off Grid Ping here. This will be my first video I'll make for this channel here. So if you want to see what it's like to live off grid for someone who has absolutely no experience in chainsawing or in, you know, self-sufficiency or living off grid. I spent my whole life in big cities and corporate jobs working uh, in the hospitality industry, the restaurant industry. So I gave all that up and decided to move out here and do this. So here I am. This first video is going to be about my solar setup as I had a request for that. Um, cause it's pretty user friendly, very easy to set up, very easy to maintain. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, please share, please leave comments if you have any questions. And with that being said, let's get started. All right. So here is my solar setup. This is the solar shed. It was actually the first building that I built when I moved out here. The little add-on on the side there, that was when I added the generator. Now that of course is temporary, as you can see by the plastic. I just gotta mill some more wood and probably take away from one of the other projects as I'm in the process of building my outdoor kitchen currently. Well, show that in another video later. All right, so let's go inside, see what we got in here. All right. So, as you can see, this is the main setup here. So this is my Grow Watt all-in-one charge controller and inverter. I got that because it is super user-friendly. It uh, actually takes the place of a couple different pieces of equipment and it does a lot. It also has the ability to uh, take power in, as you'll see right here, either from, this is power coming in from the generator, you can also do it to a grid if you had a grid set up, um, which I do not have as I'm completely off grid. Here's the circuit panel where everything comes in, which then runs to these outlets, and then these outlets run to the cabin, the bathroom, and to the kitchen currently, and then the fourth one runs over here where I charge all of my uh, rechargeable items, drills and dremels and all that stuff. Uh, that circuit right there is the circuit for the incoming power from the generator. As you can see here, I have four 200 amp AGM batteries. Um, they are run uh, in two separate series, so a series and parallel. Each one, so I got uh, the first set there is 24 volts, and then this is 24 volts, and then it runs up to here, and then from here into the inverter. And then there's this little small setup that's nothing too big. I actually got that at Harbor Freight. I'll show you that uh, joke of a setup. It's a little 12 volt. I use that battery to uh, run my diesel heater which we'll do another video on that, super efficient diesel heater. Uh, now that is not necessary as I do have 120 volt to 12 volt converter that I can use, but I have this battery that I don't use for anything else, so I might as well use it instead of pulling from my main power supply. And that's the little bitty controller for that right there. So we can run around and I'll show you over here. This is my generator backup. It's a Predator 3500. Also came from Harbor Freight. This thing is a beast. It is super quiet, super efficient, and man, it works great. So on days when I don't get any solar, um, I can actually hook this up and just use it to top off the batteries. Or if I'm using big power tools uh, like a table saw or... Um, if I need to run extra equipment, like recently, I had to hook up my deep chest freezer in addition to the fridge that I'm already running, the ice maker, all the lighting and everything. So I hooked that up just not to pull too much power from the solar. All right, so we'll go over here. Here's my panel display. Those little four right there are the ones that go. Those are the Harbor Freight ones that run that little 12 volt battery. They're actually really efficient panels. They work really well. 
And then here is my main setup. There are 15 panels that I have here. And I stay, as you can see, I still need to bury the wires. I'll get to that one of these days. So I built all of these. As you can see, those are trees that I used for the stand. And then that's wood that I milled also for all the rest of it. Uh, the biggest thing with these panels is you really got to know what your inverter can handle. Uh, there's a particular amount of voltage and a particular amount of amperage that you can have and you don't want to exceed uh, so The way I did it for these panels is It's three sets of five panels uh, Because when you run For the for the each set of five when you run them in series like this what that does is that adds up the voltage So the voltage goes up with each one in series, but the amps stay the same so in order not to go over the voltage, I had to run three separate sets. So with each set, then your amperage doubles. So that keeps me under the amperage limit and under the voltage limit. And I can actually add a fourth set of four, or four, four set of five, excuse me. So, and you'll see how I do that is through this combiner box here. So you'll see all the, all the wires come in. So then it actually has room for four, and that's the main switch there. So these four, you'll see, then go over to this one main output. And then these output wires are the main ones that run back to the charge controller. So as far as my wiring coming from the panels, this is a 10 gauge wire, which is going in to here and then it comes out at six gauge wire here and then the wire that was in there running from the batteries to the charge controller is a two two gauge wire so really um that's the gist of my setup here what i can do is i'll put links for uh, all of the main pieces like the charge controller for the batteries um in the description because that's a like i said it's it's super user friendly you don't have to have a bunch of pieces of equipment with the charge controller that i have it's kind of it was plug and play basically you just come in with it and you go out with it and it works phenomenally uh, also i do have everything grounded i forgot to mention that so there's the ground for the panels and then the um generator is grounded as well as the uh, solar array it's all grounded or the chart the charge controller um so that is it if you have any questions please leave them uh, like i said this is the first of many videos to come and thank you so much all right so one thing i did forget to mention so i'll add this little video on to the end of the other one is when you are installing your panels very important that you want them to face due south and then the angle that you want to sit them at is equal to your latitude so for instance i'm at like 35 degrees so that's where these panels are set at is a 35 degree tilt and then one thing that uh kind of got me in the beginning that i wasn't aware of even though these are about five foot apart the two settings of panels as you can see this back one is set up higher because since the uh, sun in the winter time is further down what will happen is it casts a longer shadow instead of in the summertime where like see you can see i don't know the sun is over there right now and typically it'll be like over here in the summer so what that does is when I originally had these installed, I had them at the same height. And so the front panels casted about a six inch shadow on the bottom of the back panels, which will really impede the efficiency of the back panels. So I had to lift those up. As you can see now, the shadow line is down here. Uh, and actually see, actually that's the, the other ones there, but it's down here now. Um, it would have been like way up here is where it was so now that the sun's kind of coming back towards us because it was it's like i said there now it was way over there so that is very important and there are really cool little apps that you can get on your phone that's the way i did it i um actually took and 
stuck my phone on the panels to get the tilt and then I stuck it on the middle of the bar like when I first put my bars down I, I did like a, a string line and then I put the phone on the string line in order to make sure that I was facing due south so that's all there is to that particular part all right bye bye